To change the oil, we're going to go right underneath here on the passenger side. Okay, now we're underneath here on the passenger side. You'll see our oil filters right there. If you follow back right behind it, going under the engine block, you'll see this right here. If you come on around, you'll see that is our nut we need to take off to release the oil. Alright, so we've taken our wrench here and we've currently got the oil draining. You can see the stream running. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and reinstall our drain plug. Be careful not to over tighten it. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time getting it off the next time you do this. Alright, so I've just gotten the plug back in and I'm just going to give it a good, a good crank. Alright, that should be good. Next, we're going to go ahead and change out this oil filter and be sure you put your your catch underneath it because it usually will drop some oil. Oh by the way this should just crank right off by hand. So as you can see in spinning it off uh, a lot of oil came out and it's covered in oil right now. Um, if you can see but that right there is what we're left with and we're just gonna let that drip out for a minute or two and then we're gonna put on the new filter. Here is our new filter. Now what you're going to want to do is take this filter, just take a little bit of oil on a, your finger or a paper towel and just go around this ring. And after that you're going to just screw it on up here and then we will proceed to putting the new oil in. Like I was saying, we're screwing the new filter on now. I've already oiled up the seal. So we're just going to get that on. And then we're going to give it a good hand crank. We're not going to put a tool on it. We don't want to get this too tight. Otherwise, it's going to make it a severe pain in the ass to get off the next time we change the oil. So give it a good crank with your hand. Make it good and tight. If you need to, you can take two hands. Just don't over tighten it. All right. I'm going to call that good. All right, got this on. Got our plug in back here. Now we're ready to go up to the top. So here's the oil we're going to use. We've got our cap off and our oil ready to pour. I'm going to go ahead and pour in five quarts of one jug and then I'm going to do a check on the oil. All right, last bit of oil is going in there. Let's check the dipstick. Now your dipstick is actually located right here. One last step guys, click that like button right below the video. It really helps me out a lot. Also, don't forget to check the description. I will be putting links in there and always put useful information. Thanks again, guys. Be safe.